Hello, my name is Maria Hall. I'm so happy that you're considering applying for the 2023 Los Angeles Incubator Consortium cohort. I've been the director since 2015, and I have to say it changed my life. I'm a lawyer, and I've met the best, diverse, supportive, healthy community members by working in this program than I ever thought possible in our legal profession. So yes, being a lawyer is never easy. It's a lot of stress that we voluntarily take on. <laughs> Sometimes we wonder why, but that's because it can also be incredibly fulfilling to be able to help somebody through a crisis and to be able to impact policy and sometimes even run for office. We've had incubator attorneys who have done that as well. So we can have a huge impact on the world and making the world better, but it is also an incredible responsibility. And sometimes that can be so stressful. So our goal, one of our many goals is that we are a supportive community to help you build your confidence and competence while you create that vision for yourself as a solo lawyer. So let me tell you a little bit about the program. I'm going to share my screen. So the program, uh, the application for 2023 is December 29th. So please do, after watching this video, it will show you where to get the application and what it entails. It's pretty, pretty simple. Um, and then what is LAIC? Lake um, it is a 12-month program for solo attorneys. The program starts February 1st, 2023, and it's team structure, support and training, um, subsidized resources and office space, coaching, law practice management, business and client development, peer and mentor coaching. I'll go over a little bit of that. Um, we have a dual purpose. Number one is to support solo lawyers as they build community-based financially viable practices. And that's a big part of it. We do want to serve people who are not otherwise getting served. And that's number one, because we love to help people. And number two, because there are so many thousands and thousands, probably millions of people who have legal issues, but can't find a lawyer. They don't know where to go. And maybe they can't afford the fee structure of this big upfront retainer. So we work on being flexible. We work on finding, meeting the needs of the communities. And also number two, to provide legal education and services to people who have otherwise have no access to justice. So that's where that comes in. While we're doing our pro bono work and low bono work, we're also getting a lot of training and support by our pro bono partners. So the strategy throughout the program year is for you as a solo attorney to keep your overhead as low as possible because that first startup year, you're going to have to get some momentum. So we really want to keep your overhead low. So if you do enter the program, you have a lot of perks that I'll show you in a minute. And also we want to help you generate cash flow. So at the same time that you're doing those two things, then we're also building your competence, your legal competence, and your confidence. Because we have a lot of, you know, suddenly we have our bar license and then we're expected to know everything. But the secret is you're really not expected to know everything. Nobody knows everything. So we try to do that by building up your, your confidence, by really letting you exercise your autonomy, but also having that support, that safety net, and that's what we'll talk about in a moment. So the Lake community also includes the Los Angeles Law Library. They've been an incredible partner to us. I, I love that place. It is the best place in LA, I think. Um, and then also legal services organizations. So we have relationships with Betzedic, Community Legal Aid SoCal, Legal Aid Foundation of Los Angeles, Neighborhood Legal Services and Public Council and others. Um, and then, of course, me, I'm there for your, you know, 11 o'clock at night. Oh, my gosh, I can't get this e-filing in. What do I do? You know, that kind of thing. I'm always there as a, a support as well. And then also a whole community of attorneys and judges who have offered themselves as mentors to help. They give workshops for us who all want to see you succeed. And as I said, we're entering our ninth year and we've so far had 89 solo practices launched. And sometimes people don't stay in solo practice forever. 
Sometimes they do, but your career as a lawyer, you're going to go through a lot of different phases. So even being a solo lawyer only increases your ability to get hired later if that is your goal. Many people think that's their goal, but then when they go back to working for somebody else, they're like, no, I'm, I'm too used to working for myself now. So anyway, you have a lot of opportunity and flexibility. Um, we, throughout our cohort, we have 28 different language fluencies. So that's how diverse it is. Um, dozens of practice areas and pro bono services that we've contributed collectively, um, a value to the community of nearly $2 million. Our goals are to keep you fulfilled and happy so that you're in this profession for the long haul, so that you're the lawyer you set out to be. Um, we also are very interested in technology and innovation and making legal services more efficient so that they're more affordable for the clients. Um, also, service to the community, bridging the justice gap. We like to volunteer. It also helps to keep people happy keep ourselves happy by volunteering. And then also diversifying the legal profession, kind of shaking things up, seeing what else, what other ways we can do things. And then of course, healthy and supportive networks so that we try to prevent burnout or at least deal with it when it happens. So these are the benefits that you get in your program year. So it is, I'll skip ahead, but for, for all of these things, um, I'll show you the slide of it costs for you um, the program participant, it costs $400 per month and you get all of these benefits. So you get Hubspace, which has a conference room. It's in downtown Los Angeles. You can use it or you don't have to use it, but you do get the mailing address if you want it. Um, and these are the values of these things that you get for a total of $400 per month. Um, you also get a free LexisNexis subscription, and that one's the big one with all of the resources. It's amazing. You have such full access. Also, CEB Practitioner, which is huge. That one is about $650 a month if you buy it retail. Um, and then you also get Clio, and we probably will have a couple other options coming up in 2023 as far as case management software, but Clio is for sure. Um, LA Law Library membership, which is $175 for the year ordinarily if you buy it separately, and that gives you unlimited legal resources. You also get PLI, which are videos, MCLE videos. You get a full subscription, which is about $1,200 a year ordinarily. And you get the you get to be on the lawyer referral service for the LA County Bar Association. If you don't have enough experience, they will waive you in because you're in the incubator program. So that's also a really good benefit. And then of course you get the more intangible things like the coaching guidance, the solo practice boot camp. We do that in the first month of February. And then we have ongoing workshops throughout the year, um, ongoing connections, linking up uh, the solo practice boot camp. I believe will be hybrid this year. We've been doing it totally on Zoom for the last couple years, but um, be, since COVID. But now, now I think we'll be able to do a hybrid. So I'm looking forward to meeting people again. But we can have that Zoom option as well for people who can't meet in person. <clears throat> like I said, the fees are four hundred dollars per month. If you do pay up front by February 1st, then you get one month free. So it's either um, 4,400 4, for upfront or 4,800 spread out over 12 months. Um, there's also a pro bono requirement. We do ask that you participate and take advantage of the pro bono opportunities because that is how you get training. It will build your confidence. It will make you happy. Um, that is 100 hours over the program year. And of course, the main expectation is that you can be a team player because even if you're solo in solo practice, you need to rely on so many other people and it really does make it more fun to be able to brainstorm, <clears throat> to be able to talk through problems with other people, you know, just kind of be creative and imaginative about your problem solving. Okay, and then you also have to be um, a California State Bar member in good standing, carry malpractice insurance, and it's probably less expensive than you think if you've been in practice three years or less. 
Um, it's only about $50 a month. So, um, and then stay current with the program fees. Okay, like I said, December 29th is our new deadline. We'll do interviews. We just want to meet with you and make sure that it's right for you. And the selections will be announced the week of January 9th, 2023. Um, the signed agreement deadline you'll have until January 15th to know if, to let us know if you're for sure in. And then the program start um, is again, February 1st, 2023. And then our boot camp will go starting probably a soft launch February 1st, but then probably the week after will be more intensive. And I didn't put, I didn't say also that we do work a lot with the Bay Area Legal Incubator and also with the Orange County Incubator. So we also have even more activities that we'll probably be doing with them. Okay. And then our program application. Okay. So it's fairly simple. Um, we do ask for a personal statement. It does not have to be super formal. You can really just be sincere. We just want to know that you understand what the program is and what it's not. Um, so we just do ask that you you include these, these points in your, uh, your personal statement. Uh, number one, why should you be selected to participate? Number two, we want you to brag about yourself. Number two, why do you want to be a solo practitioner? Number three, why are you interested in serving low and moderate income members of the communities, community and why as a solo? So that'll be why during this year, we will be really focused on, you know, serving, you know, meeting the bridging the justice gap. So we do want to hear about, you know, what your interest is in that area. Um, number four is how do you envision making Lake's 100 hour pro bono requirement um, a contribution to the success of your solo practice. So that's what we want to hear from you. Um, the brief business plan, again, doesn't have to be formal. We don't expect you to already have all of this figured out. We'll do some of this in boot camp, um, but at least to know that you've thought about how much money you need to survive and how much, you know, we want to make sure that you know how much it costs, like that slide that I put up earlier about the benefits and how much things actually cost. Um, that's what we want to know that you've thought through those things so that you're not blindsided when you realize, you know, wow, the world is expensive. It's a, it can be expensive to run a business. So we just want to make sure that you've thought about those things. Um, also your current resume and then three references. So that's mainly the application. And just briefly in the last two minutes, um, FAQs, I hear these a lot. Can I set my own fees if I'm in the program? Do I have to do only pro bono? You know, no, it's not about only doing pro bono. We want you to make money. So yes, you can set your own fees. The program is not your employer. You are your own separate entity. So you're yourself. You can set those fees with your client. Um, number two, are there restrictions on what type of law I practice? No, there are certain, we might make suggestions or might give you the opportunity to try out certain things in pro bono, but no, it's totally up to you what your passion is, what you want to do. Um, number three, do you guarantee I will get clients or earn a certain amount? Nope, that's all on you, <laughs> but you will have access to many, many networks. You'll have, you know, my Rolodex, the Rolodex of you know, the 87, 90 other attorneys, you know, <laughs> um, and also LA County Bar, all of our pro bono partners. So we'll give you tons of support, but it is on you. It's your business. So it's it's up to you. Um, and then of course, is solo practice right for me? Well, that one is only you can decide. You've really got to do some soul searching. You know, do you have a really strong vision of what you want for your practice? That's one thing. Um, and are you flexible, entrepreneurial, creative? Uh, do you have sort of a high-ish tolerance for risk? Um, do you have particular clients who you want to serve? Are you self-directed? And are you able to take feedback? You know, are you able to take constructive criticism? Um, because you have to do that for yourself. Are you willing to be accountable to yourself and, and, come back from mistakes or things that seem to be 
um, bumps in the road. So think about all of those things. Okay, so where to find the application and more info? Um, the application I put at this uh, tinyurl.com slash lake2023 application. So you can check that out. And it's pretty much that slide that I showed you. And then also you can watch a longer webinar with past participants in it, past and current, um, at tinyurl.com slash lake2023 webinar. And then if you want to email me, I'm at late, uh, <laughs> LA Incubator Consortium at gmail.com. So please feel free to reach out. Um, again, December 29th is our deadline. Oh yeah, there's my email again. So I do hope that you apply. Um, please do be in touch. And uh, if you have other questions, just ask. Okay, good luck. And I hope to see you in the new year.